My name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to share with you what I got in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. It is the year 2018 and I have finally convinced myself that it is time that I treated myself to one of these. I have known about these for a couple years and I've never bought one because well, for one, I didn't like have a YouTube channel, so I wasn't wearing makeup quite as often. And $75 for a regular size Lucky Bag just seemed a little bit much to splurge on. But I did this year, so let's unbox this thing. Really quickly, I just want to talk about what the Lucky Bag is. So if you are in the United States or in Europe, you might have heard of the website Beautylish.com. They sell a lot of brands that are really high end. And every year, the day after Christmas, they have this Lucky Bag on sale. So they have both the regular version, which is $75, and then the XL version, which has to be like $125, or it's, it's a, about there. And basically what you do is you pay this amount and you get a mystery box of items and in the past it has been things like Natasha Denona palettes, Wayne Goss brushes, Becca items, like things that are valued past the amount that you pay. While the things in the box that other people have gotten in prior years aren't really things that I would ever buy for myself, this is like a great way for you to sort of just treat yourself to something that, like I said, you wouldn't ever buy for yourself because maybe it's too expensive or maybe it's so hyped up or for whatever reason and so yeah. I just have the regular one because usually they open the sales first to people that have spent a thousand dollars on Beautylish over the last year. I don't know if I spend that much on makeup in one year like total with all the stores added together so I was not on that time of release and usually when it gets to everybody else the XL version is sold out which is good because then I wasn't tempted to buy it. So here's the box from Beautylish. It is a pretty good size and uh, yeah, they usually ship their items in a brown box, and so I'm not surprised that this didn't come in some like special festive packaging. I don't mind that it ships in a brown box, you're just going to throw it away anyway. And I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and cut this beast open. Guys, I'm so excited, but so scared at the same time. So the Lucky Bag did originate in Japan, and so it is a very festive item, something very traditional in Japan, and this is such cute, like paper and packaging and they always seal it oh so nicely for you. So we are just popping this open, getting all of the packaging out. Everything looks like they're wrapped in some sort of like black tissue paper. Okay, this is still like really cold. It's actually warmer today in Minnesota. I want to say it's like 25 degrees and so I didn't, I don't, I hope things aren't actually frozen. Everything, all five items are literally like in this little black tissue paper so we'll see. So the first item I have for you is this Oribe? Oribe? Somebody teach me how to say this brand name. This is their dry texturizing spray and it is 2.2 ounces and the instructions just say shake, spray where you want volume, style to desired finish and hold a brilliant alternative to dry shampoo. So I think this is supposed to be a dry shampoo, hairspray, like texturizer all in one. I have seen people get this. Um, I may or may not have stocked a couple people's unboxing before I uh, opened my box and did this video. I'm not crazy about this item because I don't really do anything with my hair and when I do I usually just curl it and hairspray it and let it go. So maybe this item will end up in like a giveaway or I'll gift it to a friend or whatever but I don't think I would be personally using this. The next item I have just pulled out of my bag is this Color FX sort of little kit and it is their mattifying prime and set. So it includes a mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment and their mattifying setting spray and then also a... I don't actually know what this is. Okay, now I can read what it is. It is a setting powder, their matte setting powder, powder to absorb excess oil and to provide a soft focus effect. So basically I got a primer, a setting spray, and a setting powder from Cover FX. Th this looks like a deluxe sample size. I suppose I can like actually open it so I can show you guys. This is sort of what that looks like. This is just a little bottle. This is their mattifying primer. This right here is their setting spray. And this is their 
setting powder. So when we ordered these Lucky Bags, we had the option of picking between fair and medium for skin color and uh, medium to deep, I think, for skin color. So I picked light to medium. I tend to fall into that range. So this is actually in the shade light. I would say... I'm most excited about the setting powder. I'm actually going to toss these back in here. Anyway, most of the time when I do makeup, like for myself, I don't always use primer and setting spray, mainly because I just forget. Like there's so many things to use on your face, I just forget. So I like this better than the texturizing spray, but I'm still not that happy about it. Next we have a mask from Sohuasu. Um, I can actually read the Chinese, so it says Xiehua Xiao. So I, I'm guessing this is like the English translation of it. This is their First Care Activating Mask. And you said use once or twice a week at the first step after cleansing. Attach the mask on the face and leave it on for 10-20 minutes to promote absorption. And then remove to pat excess into the skin. So this isn't anything... I don't want to say it's anything special because I know this brand and I know it's expensive. I don't know, to just like pay $75 for a box and get face masks as one of the items. So I just pulled a Wayne Goss brush out of my bag. I was hoping I would get one because I love brushes. I have a lot of them, but they tend to be on the cheaper end. Like, I don't really even own anything. Like, I think I have, like, three Stigma brushes, and they're probably, like, the most expensive brushes I own. And so I've always been curious, like, what is all the hype on this, like, really expensive brush? This is his brush number 10. I am not sure what that means, and I will have to look it up later and list it on the screen here. But it is super soft. Like right away, what I feel like I would use this for is highlighter, maybe some brush, bl brush, blush. I can never say brush and blush. So yeah, this is one of the items that I got. And next I got a Natasha Denona palette, which I am really excited about. And uh, never mind, not actually excited about this. This is a lip color palette. I thought it was going to be an eyeshadow palette. I am like genuinely upset. So this is their palette number six, Corals, and let me just open this to show you. Like, can we be honest? None of these colors are going to look that great on me. They're so light. Ugh. I'm like genuinely upset that I got this item. Like, lip palettes? Who uses lip palettes? Like, let's be honest. Let's take a vote. Do you actually use a lip palette, and are you a makeup artist? I can understand makeup artists liking lip palettes because it's very easy for them to like mix colors, it's very easy for them to keep it sanitary, and like makeup artists might appreciate a lip color palette. Like a normal person that just wears makeup on a daily basis, a lip palette, like, what? Okay, I only have one item left in this box, and like I don't even care what it is. I'm already like so upset about my box. Okay, it's a Viseart palette, so maybe this box was not a total waste. Maybe I should like actually be careful opening this because I can see that it's a Viseart palette. So here's what the packaging looks like. This is their Theory palette. I'm surprised they have a palette so small. I'm going to slide this out, and oh my gosh, look at how cute it is, you guys. And it is a six very neutral colors, which I like. I like neutral colors. I don't feel like I can have enough neutral color palettes, even though I have a lot of them. And I'm not actually going to swatch this for you because I haven't quite, like, knowing what's in my bag now, I haven't quite decided what I want to do with the items. So I just got up and got my little Tarte palette from my makeup drawers over there because the shades looked really, really familiar in this palette. Let me show you, you guys. So, here's the Viseart palette, and if I can open this without dropping it, here is this little Tarte palette. Look, look at how similar these colors are. This Tarte palette was like legit, like maybe 20 bucks, 19 maybe, I got it at Sephora. And I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now, I'm wearing literally this exact palette on my eyes. And this Viseart palette is literally exactly the same. This, like, literally just ruined my day. All the things that were in this box, I'm just, like, not, I'm not happy at all with what I got. I spent $75 for a Viseart palette that looks just like my Tarte palette that I'm very happy with, by the way. Um, I got a lip palette that I will literally never use. Why would they think this is a good idea to put in there? A sheet mask. 
Like, I buy $1 sheet masks. This cover FX, eh, I can, I can see a lot of people being happy with this, so I'm not mad that they sent me this. And then this dry texturizing spray, which I'm sure some people will be very happy with. I just don't really do anything to my hair, so I just don't see myself using this. Like, honestly, uh, the Wayne Goss brush, the one saving grace in this entire bag. I think this is like the best item I got, or the item that I would actually use. This is my first box, and I don't think I would ever order another one for how, for like the products that I got, you guys. Alright you guys, I just feel like I'm just going to keep rambling about how upset I am, so I'm going to just stop filming now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to have better videos for you coming up. Alright you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!